Welcome friends to another Halo Law video. Today we're going to look at another member of the Covenant, the Hurragok, or Engineers. Now, what are they? They are techno savants who have an amazing grasp of technology and they have a great grasp to modify and repair almost anything. They were originally created by the Forerunners to maintain their master's boundless stores of technology. And they were first discovered by the Covenant amongst derelict Forerunner sites. The Covenant treated the Hurragok as nothing much better than slaves. They were sent out to construct, repair, maintain, and augment their technology. It was almost too late that the Covenant discovered that they were more than just drones. And they saw how much of the Covenant's own infrastructure relied on the quiet ministrations of the Hurragok. They have the appearance of living creatures, but they're not really. Their bodies are made up of nanochemical substances that function like organic materials, and they all have the same basic look. The skin of a Hurragok is bioluminescent and shows their internal emotional state. If their bladders, which are a large part of their physiology, are hurt, the creatures will asphyxiate. They can eat and drink, but they can also survive for an indefinite period of time without it and live. And they also can use almost any energy source to keep going. When the San Shayum first went out into the galaxy, they found that there was activity near their neighbouring planet, Salusa Quam. The world itself was dead, barren, but it did have around it, in orbit, facilities where there was a large number of Hurragok. So they were brought aboard, and there they were allowed to repair the ship. They continued in this role for a long time, awakening for an attack, or making menial repairs at the behest of their masters. When the Covenant fell, the status of the Hurragok is unknown. Many died when high charity fell to the flood, and others were taken into exile by the Sanchoon themselves, and those that remain are now highly prized. Now, these creatures don't have a formal culture, but they each do have their own personalities that is shaped by the experience of their lives. They are monomaniacal about the duties they are given to perform, but will alter the behaviour to avoid conflict situations and interruptions to their work. So they come across to many as passive and evasive. When they are disturbed, they are gregarious and communicate quite freely amongst themselves with a form of sign language. And because of this, secrecy, deception, those concepts are very alien to them. Their only motivation is to repair. There is nothing above that. And because of this as well, they are quite easily exploited, as the Covenant did with them when they found them. The desires of the Hurragok are very simple, food and work. The only interaction that is required of them on a social level is that that is needed to complete their task. To create a new one of their species, two to three are required, and they make their offspring from the raw materials of their own bodies. Hurragok themselves carry with them a little sense of self-preservation. They just continue on with their tasks until prevented by an outside force. Now sadly, because of their high value, especially after the fall of the Covenant, the Covenant themselves had rigged some of the Hurragok with bombs when they were sent to a world to stop them falling into enemy hands and perhaps using their skills to aid the enemy. Following the fall of the Covenant, there has been a renewed interest in understanding these creatures, trying to find details out to help with their long-term population, to help it to recover as their numbers are very low post the fall of the Covenant. And the Hurragok themselves, as with most things, like any concern or insight into their current predicament. And on that note, friends, I will end today's video about these intriguing creatures.